the, but the one and only Emmy Kuske Madibuko. It's surely a blessing to have you with us on Friday Briefing. Thank you. It's a great pleasure. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Hey, Chamge. Missy. Uh, I wrote this down. Kedu. Kedu Odiba. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's saying hi in Nigerian. Yeah. And I must say, Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a pleasure to actually listen to your songs as we grew up, as I personally grew up. I mean, let's begin with your evangelism through music. Mm -hmm. I mean, your music is more than language. You get to um, preach the message to so many people, irrespective of the language you're actually using right now. Tell me about this. What does it mean to you breaking barriers, you know, in terms of language, in terms of tribe as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh, a very humbling experience to know that uh, amongst so many people, God found me worthy to be used for this powerful cause, mm -hmm. to reach out to human beings, to touch souls of men with the word of God. As you said, music is not just a sound, but it's also the power of God. And it, the power behind the music is actually the spirit of the song. Yeah. And it has been very, very humbling experience doing vernacular music yes. and seeing people who don't understand my songs being transformed, being saved, being healed, being um, you know, inspired by my music. One, to love God. Two, to trust God. Three, is to give their lives to Jesus. Fourth, is to just love their neighbors, All right. to break the ethnical barriers because of our ethnicity and languages, and to understand music is just a sound. It's a sound, and it has brought so many people together from different, you know, walks of life. So I'm so humbled. That's amazing. Yes, and I'm grateful. It has been a journey. When did you start music? Wow, I started, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pastor's kid. Uh, yes. So I started music when I was young, but you know, growing with it in church, uh -huh. in Sunday school, you know, choir, I've, I've been in praise and worship team for all my life. But doing, uh, you know, recording, you know, professionally, is about 15 years ago. 15 yes. years ago. <laughs> Let me take you back to your first album launch. Yeah. We well know that God works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if it's yours, it's yours, you know. Um, tell me how Paul Target actually played an instrumental role in that particular launch. You know, I, I wrote a story on Facebook uh -huh. and many people were blown away. One, I, I was moved by so many artists that are going through a lot of stuff. Sometimes you want to fast track your journey, mm -hmm. but my story, you know, about how I began and how I wasn't even able to pay for my own music, <laughs> for my videos, yes. for my audios. I used to um, strike a deal with my producer and say, okay, I pay little amount, as little I as 10,000 yes. or 15,000 uh -huh. and then record the songs. And then when we are releasing or launching it, the money I'll get from sales, I pay for the video okay. because I didn't have any money. Yes. And this particular incident, I was launching Townet. It was my first concert in Nairobi. And I remember I didn't have money. I had paid everything mm -hmm. and I was owing my producer 50,000. Oh my. Can you imagine? Uh -huh. So I, <laughs> I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I've already advertised. And this was on a Saturday. The posters are out. The posters are out. Uh -huh. I'm already hyping. Everybody's thinking the first Kalenjin, you know, music lounge Imagine, in Nairobi. Yes. So on Saturday, on Friday actually afternoon, is when I call my producer and he says, you know what? If you don't pay all the amounts, you can't have the master. And in fact, we are under new management and I'm out of town. I was, I cried, there's nothing I didn't do because I knew we only had one day and between me and my account, there was nothing. Exactly. So I, it was faith, like serious faith. And on Saturday, mm -hmm. I remember before noon is when uh, Paul Tergat, I spoke to him and we were chatting. He said, are you ready for tomorrow? You know, he was so excited. He's yes. one of my biggest fans and supporters. And I said, um, we are ready, but... <laughs> I don't have the master. There's a small challenge. There is a small you know? challenge. He said, so what? I said, um, I lack 50,000. And my producer says, I can't have my master. So I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. He said, OK, where are you? Blah, blah, blah. And then finally, I waited for him, and he gave me the money. And he gave you That's the money. That's how I, I was able to pay. 
and which I got my master much later yes. at night. Okay. And we stayed the whole night with my crew. Produce, you know those days we used to do the sleeves exactly. for CD yeah. and they were with glue all night. You know, some of them were a bit high. You know, and the next day was the album launch. Um, album launch. So you didn't sleep? We didn't sleep. That's amazing. We finished yeah. in the morning uh -huh. and we were going to sing at NPC Valley Road in the first and second service. And I could not call the pastor like, okay. uh, we have not slept. Yeah. We just drove there, sang, did the second service and then drove straight to the venue, this is just amazing. to see if people came, actually. This is amazing. It's a miracle. Uh, it's a miracle. Now, I want to, as we continue knowing more about you, mm -hmm. I want you to try out what we do as news anchors in studio. Mm -hmm. You're in the hot seat right now. I see. So let, let's use that camera. That will be your camera. Okay. I want you to introduce that particular story, uh -huh. and we'll get to rate you out of 10. Yes, you can sing, <laughs> but can you really anchor? <laughs> We'll see. Yes, let's see. Okay. Okay. There's your camera. Hundreds of residents of Sagala Village in Taita Taveta County flocked the Voi police station to register their complaints over rampant cases of human wildlife com conflict, which they claim has caused many to lose their lives while others have been named and their property worth and non-value destroyed. Area leaders led by Taita Taveta Governor Granton Samboja are blaming the government for, the fa for failing to intervene to bring to a stop the menace. The residents came out in numbers reminiscent of scenes witnessed during the voting period or during the delivery of relief food. But they were here to register their complaints at Voi police station over the increased human wildlife conflict in the area. <laughs> The residents say many have fallen victims of marauding elephants and other wild animals in the area. Their property, including crops they rely on for their livelihood, have also been destroyed. Poor results in national examinations in the region has also been blamed on the menace as learners fail to attend schools for fear of attacks. Hawa wanyama wapori wamechangia watoto kutokuenda shule na ukiangalia performance ya watoto wetu iko chini. Leaders from the region led by Governor Granton Samboja blamed the government for failing to take decisive action to curb the menace and lacking proper compensation packages for the victims. AWS, leo muondoe ndovu zenu, hatutaki kuona ndovu hata moja taita. Leo haa na incho leo kuja hapa wana majonzi kwa sababu serekali ya Kenya imekata kuwasikiza. Kama wameshindwa kulinda national park zetu, tukatio mashamba yetu wataita, tuingie ndani tulime pale. The irate residents now want all the animals that have been causing them sleepless nights to be restrained. How would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, eight. Eight. Yeah. I'd give you a nine. Yeah. I mean, c c come and take my job, <laughs> really. <laughs> That's it's not a, easy. It's not easy. Yeah. But let me put you on the hot seat before we take a short break. Mm -hmm. I have to ask this, yeah? Mm -hmm. Between fufu and plantain, you know, the Nigerian kind of staple food, and deremek and mursik, which one would you choose? Choose wisely. Um. <laughs> <laughs> mursik. Mursik. And then uh, plantain. Oh, and plantain. Yes. You'd go with that combination. Not the combination, oh. but the. Oh, you start the with. But the first combination is is uh, mursik, ugali, and the uh, the wild vegetable. Ah, so chai. Okay. Then from the western side. Yes. Is uh, plantain. Plantain. Mm -hmm. Well, that's amazing. We'll get to know more about you even yeah. as Friday briefing continues. Yeah. So let's just take a short break. You'll take us to a short break mm -hmm. on uh, your camera still. Oh, let's use this one. Take this us to one. a short break as you mm -hmm. smile. Tell them we'll be back with more on the Friday briefing. You can add Nigerian or Kali for free. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more news with Jesse. Stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Adios. Uh,